Why do you think you're influential? Oh, I've never been asked that before. <laughs> Dr. Fauci, <laughs> how are you? Oh, good to see you. It's been a while. Yes, indeed. Can you just tell me what's going on with the hair? Oh my God, a perm! It was the 80s! So everything that you feel comes to that moment and allows for that moment. And if the moment isn't there, you haven't done enough work yet. If you can attach the reader to a person, they'll follow that person anywhere. I like to walk through, you know, certain parts of the ballet. Can I see something? Can you do Oh this? my gosh! Can you just do <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> There's like the fire for the movement. <laughs> Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou will not be, but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Pretty damn good. I've made some watermelon lemonade. Yum. I'm working on it for my next book, so it's a process. Becoming a sex symbol in your late 70s. That is not something that I, I, <laughs> I aspire to. <laughs> I don't understand when people tell me you have an accent. You know what I'm thinking inside me? It's like, what do they think I think about them? <laughs> and I tell you what's more, when you miss the one you care for, more than you miss New Orleans. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> More than not bad. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs>